Now look at a one-to-one -one relationship. Previously, we've looked at our database management systems with strong entity. Now, after the entities comes our relationships. We need to choose one entity to include the primary key of, so the other entity as the foreign key. One of these entities, employee or department, is going to have the primary key and the other one is going to have the foreign key. We want to include simple attributes of the relationship. It's better to choose an entity type with total participation. Total participation is going to have two lines. That's going to be with department. So with our employee, we just have our SSN right here. That is the key. So this should be command underlined. We then have our department. And inside of our department, we have our department name, department number, manager SSN, and then manager start date. The manager SSN is going to be the foreign key. And it should refer to the primary key of our employee. So our relationship, we've chosen it, the foreign key. We've chosen the foreign key to be our manager's SSN. And that manager SSN is going to be with this managers right here. Now, this is a relationship attribute, the manager start date. And we want to include the manager start date with our department. That's what we want to do whenever we have something with total participation. If they both have total participation, or if it's just um, partial participation for both of them, it doesn't matter. But typically, we want to always push towards the total participation, because that's always going to be there. So this is going to go with that in our writing right here. And that's how we would look at a one-to-one -one relationship.